Are you looking to get on the road to your dream career? You're in the right place. Welcome to the Mentor Select Podcast with your host, Derek Phillips. Always stay up to date on social media at Mentor Select and online at MentorSelect.com. Here's your host of the Mentor Select Podcast, Derek Phillips. Hello, welcome to episode 40 of the Mentor Select Podcast. It is always a pleasure to have you join us. Today's episode is very special. Not to say that the rest are not special, but today is a very special one because I've been talking for months about the book that I've been working on. And today I get to share it with you all, get to share it with the world because it is live on Amazon, available for purchase in both Kindle and paperback format. The title of the book is called Poverty Powerball, Turn Adversity into Your Winning Ticket. This book has been in the making for almost a year now. I first started last June writing the book, and it's just been a long process, but it's been a fun adventure. I've learned a lot, and I'm excited to share all the lessons I learned with you all. But in this book, essentially, it's my memoir. I share the lessons that I learned growing up in extreme poverty in Gary, Indiana, and just how applying those lessons in my adult life has helped me thrive not only survive, but thrive and defy the odds. And that's what I share throughout the book, just lessons that'll help you overcome any adversity that you're facing so that you can ultimately live a fulfilling and prosperous life. So in this episode, I tell you about behind the scenes of the Making of Poverty Powerball, my writing style, my inspiration behind it, who the book is really serving the most, who I had in mind when I was writing the book. And also just how you can apply the lessons that I learned to your life and also take advantage of other courses and services that Mentor Select offers. So I'm not going to hold you up any longer. Let's get to the interview so you can listen to it and then ultimately go ahead and purchase the paperback book on Amazon and be sure to share with your friends and family. Any support that you can provide me would be greatly appreciated. And as a new author, in any reviews that you can provide on Amazon would be greatly helpful to help get the book in more hands around the world. Thanks in advance for your support. Hello and welcome. I am Raquel Phillips, and today I am here with my husband, Derek Phillips, celebrating an epic milestone achievement. He has received his author's copy of his very first book, Poverty Powerball. Y'all see him on that cover? Yes, he did that. And that is what we are here to discuss today. But before we get into that, I'm going to give him an opportunity to tell you all about his company, Mentor Select. As my beautiful wife mentioned, my name is Derek and I'm the founder of Mentor Select, which is a training and development company. We focus on empowering at-risk teens to break the cycle of generational poverty. And we accomplish that through offering a wide range of products and services from books, uh, podcasts, motivational speeches, workshops, and other services to really empower them with the skills and resources they need to thrive in life. And before uh, founding Mentor Select, I was serving in the United States Army for four years. Army strong. Army strong. <laughs> and after transitioning out of the Army, I worked in cybersecurity for the past 15 years working for Fortune 500 companies such as Hewlett Packard, Lockheed Martin, and Apple. But now, in my role as Chief Mentor of Mentor Select, I am doing what I really am passionate about, which is helping others fulfill their life's purpose. That's my story, in a nutshell. And he's being so modest about his accomplishments. He has a whole alphabet of letters behind his name. <laughs> It's Darius Phillips, MBA, CISSP, C-Risk, SISM, husband, soon be father, and now author. Yeah. So, <laughs> what is Poverty Powerball? Poverty Powerball is a mindset, essentially the adopting the same mindset that lottery winners have when they hit that Powerball jackpot. And although most people don't celebrate poverty or uh, desire to be in poverty, but there is a lot of vital lessons that you can learn through those poverty-related hardships that most experience. 
And that's something that I experienced growing up in extreme poverty. And I share those lessons in my book. What inspired you to write Poverty Powerball? I was inspired to write Poverty Powerball because I wanted to offer a resource that could help uh, people growing up in poverty overcome it and really help them shift their mindset from viewing it as a disadvantage and realize the competitive advantages that any hardship provides you. As long as you overcome it, hey, there's lessons you learn and you're a lot stronger, you're more resilient. And you can share that with other people to help them get through it. What was your writing process like? I know there's a lot of people who dream of writing books and they have no idea where to start. And it's ironic. I never imagined or desired to be an author. I just decided, hey, I had a lot of people asking me once they find out um, just where I grew up and just the adversity I had to overcome. They always ask, okay, how did you achieve that level of success? How did you defy the odds? And once I started thinking about it, I realized it was poverty. That was my Powerball. So I wanted to capture those lessons that I learned growing up in poverty into a book. And that was pretty much the, the process I took on. And so I started off pretty much every day I would block two hours. Me being an early riser, I wake up at six in the morning and from six to eight I would just write, just get those ideas out of my head and not worry about grammar, structure, anything. Just get the ideas out. And that made it easier. Buzz. And then after about 30 days of doing that, I have the framework for the book Poverty Powerball. So you have the framework after 30 days, but how long did it take you to write and get this book published? <laughs> so it took a little longer than just the 30 days. So after the 30 days, it was the, I had the framework ready. And then at that point, I kind of got distracted doing other things, hosting my podcast and just building Mentor Select. And I kind of put it on the shelf until I decided what I wanted to do next with the book. So maybe in a fast forward, maybe November is when I started working with an editor and just really further developing the book into what it is today. So overall, so it took about four months of continuous work to develop Poverty Powerball. And I would, get, I would suggest anyone who has a desire to write a book to get their story out there to the world is at least, hey, just get started writing. That's the hardest part. Just start, start. Put, put words on the paper and... Hey, It'll, it'll develop, just continue at it. It sounds as though the lessons within Poverty Powerball could apply to anyone, but who would you say is the target demographic audience that you wrote this book for? Definitely can apply to anyone that's um, faced with adversity and looking for ways to overcome it. But when I was writing the book, what I had in mind were teenagers. So essentially teens who are growing up in poverty who just can't make make sense of what they're experiencing. That's who I had in mind. So I feel that's who will benefit the most and really apply those lessons. And it can ultimately change the trajectory of their life if they apply these lessons. And how many lessons are within the book? So each chapter has a lesson and also what I call a winning ticket. So there's 10 chapters, 10 lessons. And out of those 10 lessons, which one do you think would be just one? Because I know Absolutely. I've had the opportunity to read the book and I found it to be very impactful. But out of all the 10, which one as the author would you say would resonate the most with readers? So if I had to pick just one, they're all very important. But if I had to pick just one, and especially some uh, lesson I think someone can apply immediately, that would be the lesson on forgiveness. And in, in that chapter, I talk about how I had to forgive my dad. And I won't go into all the details because you don't have to read it, but it's juicy. That, that really, it, it made a substantial impact on me by letting go of that resentment, that hatred, that just all the disappointment, letting that go and forgiving. It freed up that energy where I can focus on something positive that will serve me versus something that wasn't serving me. And that's something that I know a lot of people struggle with, especially those who grew up in poverty. Likely they, you've had to overcome whether it's abuse, disappointment, just a, a lot of the negativity. And if you hold on to that, it's not serving you at all. So being able to forgive those who've hurt you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to serve you a lot better than holding on to that negativity. Forgiveness is definitely a powerful lesson that I think every human being walking this earth can relate to. Definitely. I, like I said, have read the book and I absolutely loved it. 
But what have others who've had the opportunity to read it said about the book? Because y'all gonna say, of course, I love it. I'm his wife. <laughs> but <biased. laughs> I'm not biased because he knows that our relationship is based on trust and honesty. So if it sucked, <laughs> trust me, I would have told him, they you need to go back to the drawing board. She would. She, she doesn't have a gift to sugarcoat. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but what, what have your colleagues and others said? So I've shared the book with several beta readers from teachers, administrators, professionals, and I've received overwhelmingly positive feedback. People really love the book. They feel it is a powerful resource for anyone who is faced with any adversity, but especially at-risk teens. So they're, they're really loving the book. So I'm excited to share it with the world. It's officially May 1st. Get it out there where you can get your hands on it and apply these lessons to your life to overcome adversity. Does Mentor Select offer any other products or services that can help individuals break the cycle of generational poverty? Certainly. So with Mentor Select, we take a holistic approach where having the, the hope and the motivation is a big part of it, but we also want to make sure that we provide uh, the at-risk teams with resources beyond that. So we have the podcast, which on the Mentor Select podcast, I interview people who absolutely love what they do and they feel that they're really impacting lives and changing the world through their work. So just being able to have access to that high quality mentorship, that's a fantastic resource for people who are looking for a career direction. Also within Poverty Powerball, is gonna be a series of books. So this first one, as I mentioned, is geared towards more so teens, but I'm also going to write a children's book. So the same 10 lessons, but just restructure them into a format that's uh, that's good for little kids. And then beyond that, um, I have another book on in store for adults where it can really show them how to really the, the apply those lessons, the tactics behind um, applying the lessons of Poverty Powerball. And last but not least, I have an online course coming out which also really helps you apply those lessons to Overcome adversity, be more resilient. That's the name of the game. <laughs> As you just heard, Mentor Select has a plethora of products and services that can help you overcome any obstacles that you're going through. We're here today to promote Poverty Powerball. And where can they get it? Before, I almost forgot one more resource. So the great oh, thing about okay. the, the, the format of Poverty Powerball is it's an interactive book. So I didn't want people to just read it and forget it. I wanted it to be interactive so it can really apply to these lessons. So at the end of each chapter I have where I lay out the lesson, the winning ticket, and then also I have an activity which has the reader be more interactive and um, apply those lessons. So in addition to the book, we have an actual Poverty Powerball journal which uh, whenever you purchase the book, you can actually download the journal as a bonus for free. And it's a PDF format that you can edit. But for those who like hardcover books, also have the Poverty Powerball Journal that you can purchase and write in. So that's just another resource to really reinforce those lessons. That sounds like an awesome accomplice to the actual book itself. Definitely a great supplement. And to answer your question, you can purchase the book on Amazon. And also you can purchase it on directly on my website, DerekPhillips.com. All right, you heard the man. All these items are available for purchase, and the book is available as of May 1st. So make sure you get a copy for yourself, for your kids, for your kids' friends who are bad influences on your kids that you try to correct. <laughs> gotcha, uh, gotcha. And it'd be a great graduation gift for yes. those, those graduates. Definitely. All right, well, thank you so much for tuning in today. Peace, thank you. Pick up a copy. So there you have it. Now you know the process of what it took for me to write the Poverty Powerball book, my inspiration behind the book, and the target demographic for the lessons that I share throughout the book. So be sure if you know anyone who you feel can benefit from these life transforming lessons who are currently facing adversity, they really don't know what to do, they feel stuck. And they just feel hopeless. Certainly Poverty Powerball can inspire and empower them to overcome adversity. I am really passionate about helping all people, but I'm really focused on at-risk teens because I know 
that they have a lot that they're encountering in life and in school, from social media, parents, all, everything. And I really want to focus my expertise on empowering and inspiring them to reach their full potential. So certainly I appreciate any support that you can give me in that area to help fulfill my mission of um, empowering over 1 million at-risk teens to break the cycle of generational poverty. That's my mission. I'm going to accomplish it one way or another, but I certainly appreciate your support. Uh, be sure to check out my book on Amazon and also check out my website, daresphillips.com to find out more. Thanks for listening and be sure to tune in next week with an interview from another phenomenal guest mentor. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of the Mentor Select Podcast, helping you identify and follow your passions. For more great content and to stay up to date, visit MentorSelect.com and MentorSelect on social media. If you enjoyed today's episode, please rate and review. We'll catch you next time.